super fast AI generations on your potato computer, this is SDXL Turbo and I'll help you get started with it. I'll even show you a super cool way that you can live paint with it. It's free and you can use it both in Automatic 11.11 and Comfy UI. Hey, do you know what's worse than raining cats and dogs? Hailing taxes. AI. Today we will be live painting like this, so now I have a prompt painted flower and I'm painting blue like this. If I swap it to pink here and keep painting, my image is adjusting to that and we're getting some pink in here. We can add some more pink in there, we'll get more of that flower, we can change this to a beautiful yellow, let's add that in there and let's go up with that. So now we're getting more yellow into this, maybe we want some yellow down here and here's our beautiful flower. I'll show you how this works. This is super easy to get started with. We're also going to be generating images in Automatic 11.11 and this is live renders coming in right now with a high-res fix. So we are generating images through the high-res fix. So we're getting some extra resolution here live. So these are four live images of a cat in a hat. Super quick. Let me show you how you do it, both in Comfy UI and Automatic 11.11. If you want a detailed in-depth guide with text and images, we're also going to be following this Patreon guide available for all of my subscribers, so check that in the link description. You can also just follow along in the video, but if you want more details and step-by-step -step instructions, check out the Patreon guide. All the links are also going to be in the description below, so check that out. First, we're going to download the model from Hugging Face. There is a base model. I'm going to click this link here, which will get us to this page. You have files and versions here, and this SDXL Turbo and SDXL Turbo FP16 safe tensors. The difference is very little between them. The bigger 14 gigabyte one will give you slightly better quality but is it worth it? Probably not. So you can just download the FP16 if you want to. If you're using Automatic 11.11, you're going to go into your folder, place that into your models, stable fusion folder, drop that in there. If you're using Comfy, go into your Comfy UI, models, checkpoints, and then put it there. Now there are a couple of improved custom models. I'm linking these in the Patreon guide, so you can check those out if you want to. We're mainly going to be using the base model today, but you should know that there are improved models like this TurboVision XL here. And you can see here from the images, the results are pretty good. Now, if you don't have Automatic 11.11 or Comfy installed, I have more instructions for that. Install instructions going to be in the Patreon guide, but also I have videos for free on my channel as well. I'm going to use this workflow here. So I have this image of a fox here in a little bottle. So if you just take that and drag and drop into Comfy here, we have a base SDXL Turbo Workflow. And if you're using Automatic 11.11, don't worry, I'll get to you in a bit. So first off, you're going to make sure that your SDXL Turbo here is loaded. Then basically, you can press Q Prompt. You're going to have the default settings, so I'm getting the same image here. And if you want that change, you can change here. Now we have beautiful landscape scenery, glass bottle with galaxy inside, cute fennec fox. So let's change this into glass bottle with sunset inside of it and now we can see we have a glass bottle here with a sunset inside of it now the seed is set at fixed here so if you would generate again you will just get the same image so if you want another image make sure to set this to randomize now when we generate you're going to get a new image every time as you can see here in our live results coming in so i'm just pressing prompt q prompt here and if i auto queue this and just keep generating you can see the speeds here at a new generations coming in i'm just going to stop this so my hard drive isn't full with images of bottles with sunrises in them now if you're loading this workflow and one of these nodes turn red you're going to have to go into your manager found in this little here so click the manager install missing custom nodes select the ones that are missing and press install. Now I don't have any missing custom nodes currently, but they'll show up similar to this image here. Now we're currently running this at 512 by 512. You can increase it, 1024 for example, but you will lose some speed in the process and some coherence as you can see. Now we have two bottles. So the best way to, to do this would be with a high res fix, uh, which I showed you in the beginning in automatic 1111. So here, for example, we ran 512 by 512 and then we upscaled it. So these images here are in 1024 by 1024, but they started off as 512 by 512 to get the composition right. If we started off with 1024 from the beginning, 
we would get similar results like this. Uh, and we can see if you change this to cat, let's choose cinematic. Let's zoom in for you. Cinematic still of a cat in a hat. And let's generate that. And you're going to get some weird cats. So if you're getting a lot of this, go back, change it to 512 by 512, generate again. And ooh, we have a cute looking cat here. Now you could go as high as, let's say, 768 by 768, and it will probably still work. And if you run a couple of generations here, you can see they're all pretty good. Some, this one here, is trying to break here. We have a piece of the hat merged with the ear, kinda. So, kind of breaking. So, the more you steer away from 512 by 512, the more problems you're going to have. Now, if you aren't getting results like this and you change some of the settings, maybe you download a different workflow, what you can check is make sure that you have a steps between 1 to 3 around that and a low CFG. So, here we have a CFG of 1. Let's set this, for example, to 7. And you can see, oh, where's my cat in a hat? Well, it's there but it's kind of broken and it keeps getting broken. So make sure that your CFG is low. You can run up to maybe two, but here it's breaking again. So it's 8.1.5. It's breaking a little bit again at one. You know, it looks, it's, it's looking pretty good. If you lower this to 0 0.5, you can see again, it's breaking. So I would say CFG of one, especially with using the Euler A here. You can increase the steps counts. So here we have four steps. We're not seeing a noticeable increase in quality. If we do this with a lot of steps, like the regular models, we're getting an error because the max steps here is 10. So let me try this in 10 with the turbo scheduler. Well, it's actually worse. So stick with CFG1, steps between 1 and 4, and you get pretty good looking images. And the same can be said for automatic 11.11. Let me launch a new one here, and once you have installed the model, if you can't see it up here, press the refresh button, choose SDXL Turbo, and we're gonna put in a prompt here, cinematic still of a frog in a golden crown. I'm using 512 by 512 here. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. I'm using the high res fix here. So while I'm upscaling this by two, you can change the upscale if you want. For example, you can use the ESRDN 4X, which is a default one. And if you have maybe the CX or the 4X Ultra Sharp, those are pretty good as well. I'm gonna use the ESRDN 4X because you're gonna have that installed already. I'm going to lower the denoising a little bit, maybe 0.6, and make sure that sampling steps is 1, and the CFG is 1. Let's see what we get here. So now we're running a different sampler. We're running the 2M Keras instead of the Euler A, but we're getting a frog here in a golden crown. And if we reuse the seed here, and we change the sampling method to Euler A, we're actually getting a very, very similar looking image. And if you want to compare the samplers with SDXL Turbo, you can run a script here xyz plot so let's set sampler let's see let's click a couple of them here doom keras sde keras euler a euler point plus plus sde we can do a 3m1 some people like ddm unipc and let's get started so now we're doing a comparison of samplers within sdxl turbo at one step cfg1 we're using a high res fix so we're going for 512 by 512 up to 1024 by 1024. And as you can see here in our results, many of these are looking good. We see no discernible difference from many of these samplers here. And the 3M, DDIM, and the UniPC didn't even work for us. So feel free to use any of your regular samplers like 2M Keras or Euler A. Now let's remove the script here. Let's just set the seed at random again. Let me show you one of the other models here. So we've loaded Turbo Vision here, Excel Superfast Excel based on new Turbo Excel, yada yada. And if you run the exact same settings here, it's kind of not working, as you can see. So if you change this up, let's set the sampling steps at four, for example, and we're getting much, much closer to a better looking result, as you can see here. So for some of these models that have been merged with the Excel Turbo to increase the quality, you need to improve the steps. So instead of one step, you can do three or four, but keep the CFG low still. Oh, and you can also load some styles into this. So these styles are available for my Patreon subscribers. There's a lot of styles here, both that I have made myself and that I've collected over the last year, added from people in my Discord and whatnot. So let's add Cyberpunk in here. Let's see if we can get some Cyberpunk frog. So we got kind of that neon Cyberpunk color 
Let's add some more stuff. Let's go futuristic and well, maybe sci-fi. Let's just add everything on top here. So we're getting a frog that's uh, more looks like sort of a humanoid character. That's kind of cool. Let's remove a couple of these. Let's change it into a graffiti style. So now we have the frog painted on a wall here. I mean, that's kind of cool. So some styles are not going to be great for SDXL Turbo. So bear that in mind. Let's try the anime one here. Let's change it to masterpiece girl riding bicycle. And here we can see that it's, uh, it's more closer to the style that we loaded. Let's have a look at that live painting thing. I'll have all the workflows available in the Patreon guide if you want them for easy access. They're probably going to be somewhere in the description as well. I'm now dragging and dropping the Live Paint SDXL Turbo workflow. And this doesn't require a lot of changes. So it's currently la launched SDXL Turbo. So just make sure you have that name there. If you get a red error when you start this, recheck it and re-click that there. If you press Q prompt now, you will get a painted flower like in the example here and if I start painting here now let's change the stroke here to red and we have a pretty small one here so we're going to increase this let's set 50 for example down here at brush width and now that we're painting you're getting a big one here but now you might be saying well Seb I'm not getting any red in my image well that's because Comfy isn't actually generating anything so if you would press Q prompt again now you would get the red into here now it's not a lot of red but that's not really the point but again when you paint it's not making any changes well that's because you need to first click extra options up here and then auto Q that will make your comfy keep generating so whenever you press Q prompt now this will keep generating 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 new images all the time and that's what makes it able to give you live changes. So whenever I paint now, you can see that it's actually changing. And if I put some blue in here, it's going to start putting some blue in here as well. So whatever you paint in here now, you can put into the image. You can clear this and restart. You can change the prompt so you can say porcelain statue instead. Now that was a bad example because porcelain is always white. But let's do colorful painting of a swirling nebula and that's going to get us that so we're getting a lot of yellow in this and let's get some blue into here so now we're getting our beautiful swirling nebula here but that isn't all you can actually do more than just paint with this I'm changing the background here to, to white but but hang on now if you clear the canvas well you don't have to clear but you can actually load an image so if i load an image in here now it got kind of squished doesn't matter say colorful anime cat so it takes whatever i have in here and outputs it and i can keep painting on top of this it doesn't matter so you can input basically whatever here and if you want to stop this just press the little auto cue there and it stops generating because since it's auto generating all the time it might be uh, a little hard on your computer so after watching this you might be asking well can i use the other models here as well well let's just test here so we change from the sdxl turbo here let's take the turbo vision let's change to four steps here so that's going to take a little longer we're going to put auto queue back in and we're queuing this up so let's clear this and let's start painting here so let's put some uh, let's actually get a larger brush so we have some red here some red up here put some white into this so now we have our cat kind of joining us here let's put some we already had some ice there but let's actually oops that was white let's put some put some blue ice in here and let's actually put with red ribbons and we're gonna put some more red so he understands what that is and up there and out there there we go so yeah that's kind of cute so you can use this even with the custom models just make sure that you in increase the steps for this the cfg is still one like previously but uh, play around with it as much as you can i hope you had fun and learned something as always i'll see you in the next video see ya